Welcome to chapter 4.6. Moment of couples, yeah. This is from uh, the textbook, uh, chapter 4.6, yeah. Okay. So, at the end of this uh, lesson, you should be able to define what is a couple and also determine the moment of a couple. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to explain to you what is a couple, yeah, couple. So, we know that, uh, you know, your father and mother uh, makes a good couple, isn't it, at home, yeah. Couple means more than uh, one, a pair, yeah, a pair. Now, in this case of, uh, in, in, in engineering, yeah, when the topic of moment, so what we have here is that, can you see? There's force here and force here. Both these forces are at the same uh, magnitude, 30 Newton, 30 Newton, but they are actually opposing each other. So when you look at the force, they are actually opposing each other. But then, even though they are opposing each other, if you see, they actually cause a rotation. Together, they cause a rotation. Yeah? Like example at home, lah, your father and mother, right? Between your dad, your dad and your mom. Okay. Your dad says uh, something. Example. Yeah. Maybe he says up and then mom says, no, no, it has to be down. But whatever it is, at the end of the day, yeah, they have to work as a team in order to achieve it to a certain objective or a certain rotation. Likewise, it is in the engineering thing itself. Yeah. Now, if you see, uh, like in this case, if I were to calculate the, the couple, so how do you calculate a, a couple? Yeah, it's moment equals to force times distance. You have seen the distance before, yeah, perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation, but this is very unique. So, what we have here is that this distance will be from the 30 to 30, which is 0 0.4 in this case. Yeah, so 30 times 0 0.4, you're going to have 12 newton meter right okay now if let's say you need to impose 12 newton meter but happen to be that if your um, uh, the distance is shorter so if your distance is shorter then the force will increase so that's the reason why if you if you look at uh, um, uh, any rotation yeah i'll give you an example have you seen very old lorries very very old lorries huh? lorries or buses I'm talking about lorries and buses which is in 1970s, 1980s. You can Google them. Yeah, Their steering are really huge compared to the buses that we have now. Of course, now it's power steering. Yeah, things are simpler now. Yeah, so this is the reason. If you have something that's big, the force that you impose to rotate, it becomes easier, lesser. Yeah, but then if you have placed your hand in a distance which is shorter, the force that you need to impose on it becomes even more, becomes tougher to rotate it. So, this is the unique point of the uh, moment or the torque itself uh, that causes the rotation. Okay. So, in our daily life, we have a lot of uh, places that we actually uh, use, grip, like example, the vehicle steering, you know, your pipe, your pipe, your tap, tap at home, yeah, your tap at home. Yeah, that's also a moment and then, uh, you know, when you open your bottle cap, yeah, that's also moment. So, we have a lot of uh, real life examples that implies a moment, okay. So, let's go into the lesson, how to calculate. It is force times distance for scala. Okay, what is the distance? The distance will be from the force to the force. This is the distance. So, where is your axis of rotation? Axis of rotation is in the middle. But because the magnitude is the same, so this is very unique. You don't have to multiply with the axis of rotation because if you do, it will be twice. Okay, let me just demo this. Yeah? Okay, you, you observe this. Huh? At the end of the day, it becomes the same thing. Okay, now let's say we have a force here, 30. Okay, what you have done before? Huh? 30 and then we have the distance. Ah, the distance is, let's say it is 20 meters. So, here will be 20. Okay. Let's calculate this. From the, cal uh, from the formula of moment of a couple, the moment will be, the moment will be force times distance, which is 30 times 20. So, you're going to get 600 Newton meter. Now, from the previous lesson, yeah, we have, we have done previous lesson, isn't it? Huh? The, the last chapters and all. So, where is the axis of rotation? 
something like this right it's a middle point right so this is 10 meters apart so let's use the old formula so what do you have oopsie doopsie it went okay so wait what do we have here we have moment equals to force times distance plus with force times distance yeah so in this case okay before that uh, let me just tell you this is actually going clockwise so this will be negative huh okay so what do we have here force times distance going back to this formula it will be 30 times 10 oh, looking at this one force up here the first one okay going this side it will be negative and then we have plus and this one 30 times 10 also so 30 times 10 at the end of the day you're going to achieve the same value yeah yeah, 300 plus 300. So, there's two ways in solving it. But this upper method, yeah, this method can be only used if the force is the same magnitude. Yeah, same magnitude. Otherwise, you cannot use this method. Okay. So, I'm going to show you a few more slides for you for a better understanding. Of course, we're going to look at 3D. Yeah, yeah 3D. So, this part of it, you can just read. Uh, the net external force of couple is that the net force equals to zero. Of course, the net force equals to zero because this is negative and this positive, right? You add up together, they will come, they will become zero. Yeah, so that only then you can actually use the moment of couple formula, force times distance. Okay, so since the moment couple depends only on the distance between the forces, the moment of couple is a free vector. It can be moved anywhere in the body. Okay, it can be moved anywhere. You remember about vectors? Yeah, you can always shift the vector anywhere, maintaining the magnitude and the direction is very important. So moment couples due to couples, moment due to couples can be added together using the same rules by adding any vectors. So the last sentence may be a bit confusing. When I show you an example, you will understand it better. Okay. So there are examples in this lecture note that I have posted on the eLearn. I'm going to skip this example as what I've told you, the examples are rather easy but before that let me just demonstrate something to you so we have this wood huh? i'm not going to solve it but i'm just going to show you okay look at this can you see 15 and 50 so this is a couple yeah it's your dad and it's your mom right but they are opposing each other it's okay when you add them at them they become zero they become equilibrium yeah and then we have can you see this 30 and this 30 yeah when you add up the forces it becomes zero it is an equilibrium yeah but then of course it causes some rotation so this is a moment couple yeah i'm going to show you how to uh, solve them shortly so just bear with me we're going to move on to an example yeah. this is example 4.13 from your textbook yeah 4.13 from your textbook you just i have skipped 4.10 4.11 4.12 because i feel they are easier simpler so that's the reason why i'm going uh, to 4.13 i want you to pay attention because uh uh, we are going to use vector analysis to solve this question. It can be a bit tricky. Uh, there are a bit of visualization that's needed for this uh, to solve this question. Okay. So, we have got two. Yeah, two couples that's forming. We have couple one and couple two forming here. So, let's solve the easy one first. Okay. So, we have 150. We have 150. Ah, okay. They are opposite in each other. They cancel off, right? The forces cancel off. So, they make a perfect couple. So, what is the distance between them? 0 0.4 so 150 multiply 0 0.4 we have 60 newton settle okay but of course this is a 3d question so careful 60 newton in which direction is it in in i direction now you can ask me oops what's happening why is it in i direction yeah you remember when you curl your uh when you curl your 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 right uh, hand yeah, from the previous lesson yeah so what we have here this 150 and this 0 0.4 is in between z and y axis right z and y axis right okay observe this 150 is actually vertical up which is parallel to z axis and then we have uh, our distance yeah our distance which is where in y axis so when you have a cross between uh, uh, x, uh sorry y and z your answer or your resultant moment will be in the direction of x yeah okay so when you have combination of y and z it will be in the x so if we have x and y guess it will be in z Do you get it okay so now you understand why is 60i okay now i'm going to erase all this and i'm going to move on to the tougher one 
Yeah, it's not too tough. You just need to imagine. Yeah, you need to just visualize a bit. Yeah, because the next one is in two axes. So we have done the first moment, and the first moment, can you see? We have kept it in I. Yeah, the first moment we have kept it in I. So keep this aside. Moment one settled. We're moving to moment two. Okay, so let's solve moment two. Look at your moment two. Ah, uh, look at moment two. Zero point three. Yeah. Uh, and then this one is tilted. Can you see this 125 is tilted? Okay, look at this. It's tilted, right? Yeah, we have 3, 4, 5. So, where is the answer going to be? Yeah, okay, observe this. We're going to resolve it, yeah? So, we know it is a cross product between RDC and FC. Okay, now you have two forces here. You can either choose FC or FD. Yeah, but do not choose both. You choose one and then you take the distance between from the C. Okay, in this case, they are taking um, FC. Okay, FC. So, FC is this one, this 125, which is pointing here, this direction, right? Okay, and then we have RDC. Yeah, RDC. So, the force is actually cross with RDC, cross with FC. Now, what is RDC? Okay, let's look at RDC. RDC is, okay, before that, let me show you how to resolve it. Okay, okay, let's look at this. Huh? So, we have, we, we just want to make things easier here. We take RDC. Okay, RDC is 0.3i. 0.3i because it is in parallel of the x-axis. Yeah, it's parallel of x axis. You know, you have to tilt your head a bit here. Yeah, it, it looks a bit confusing, but it's actually not. You just have to tilt your head and then just imagine that this is in 0.3i. So that is RDC. You have settled. Now, FC. If you resolve FC, you can see that FC forms a J and a K axis. Okay, can you see? This FC is in the hypotenuse, right? So you can actually make it uh, in J and x axis so let me just enlarge this so that you can see okay we have a three and a four right so if you want to make it in z axis what this will be so z axis will be three over five multiplied with 125 can you see that yeah that's for the z axis okay so i'm going to make it small here okay and then bring it back sorry bring it back to the working can you see z which is k la K, uh, 3 over 525. And can you see a negative here? Why? Because when you resolve this, this is going to be pointing down. Okay, so we have done this part, the Z part. Now we're going to move on to the uh, Y part. So the Y will be something which is flat here. Can you see along this way? Ah, so it's positive. Huh? It's 4 over 5, 125. Now you, you apply the cost product on this. So what's going to happen? You're going to get an answer of... 222.5J plus 30K. So, this is your M2. Now, how do you combine them? So, we have M1 which is 60I and M2 which is 2.25J. So, you want to find the resultant. How do you do? You just have to add all the I's together, all the J's together and all the K's together. So, this is your moment resultant. Of course, this question did not actually get the magnitude. So, you can work towards magnitude, right? So, what do you do for your magnitude? You square, you square, you square, you inverse square root. You get a magnitude. Can you find the angle? Yes, you can. Your alpha, beta and gamma. Remember what you have done in the last lesson. Yeah. So, this is how you answer the whole question. Okay. Now, I've ended this sub-chapter. If you have any question at all, please do meet me during the consultation hours. Thank you.